Hi, my name is Ford. I work the front desk here in Sunnyvale. I also coach the youth team and teach balance and technique. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about sending your project. I'm gonna give you four tips to help you think about getting to the top of your climb. I see a lot of people who are skilled enough and strong enough to complete the climbs that they wanna do, but mentally, they might not be thinking about it correctly, so I'm gonna help you do that. My first tip is to break down the, the climb into different sections. I see a lot of people always starting at the beginning and when they get to the hard move, they're too fatigued to think clearly or even pull hard. So if you can use holds from a nearby climb to climb up to the hard section, then you'll be more fresh, you'll be able to think clearly and you'll be able to pull through the hard move. After you figured out a good efficient sequence for the every single movement, then you can start working from the beginning and trying to complete the whole climb. My second tip for you is to ask a fellow climber or a staff member for beta for your climb. Sometimes if you've tried a hard move too many times, you get tunnel vision and you can't think of a different way to do it. If you ask a different climber, they might tell you a different foot placement or something like that. Or maybe they might even teach you a movement that you've never done before. So use other minds and collaborate and get to the top of your climb. My third tip for you is to visualize the climb all the way to the top before you ever get on the wall. If you get up to the hard move and you're still thinking about how you might get through it, that takes too much time, it's energy wasted. You wanna do as much thinking as you can with both feet on the ground. That way you don't have to think about it when you're on the wall. Also, when you're visualizing yourself, make sure you're also moving your hands twisting your body if you think you're gonna do that on the climb. That way, when you need to twist your body, it'll already feel natural, you'll already have good muscle memory. My fourth tip for you is when you actually get on the climb, be very precise. Place your feet exactly where you want them. Place your hands exactly on the hold on the good spot. If your feet are slipping or if you're on a less positive section of the hold, it's gonna require more energy and you might feel too fatigued to get to the top of the climb. Also, focus on the movement you're on. Don't think about the next move. Don't think about the previous move. It, if you're on the easy moves, don't think about the crux. You'll think about the crux when you're at the crux. Those are my four tips for sending your project. 